is a security analyst and a lecturer at the Kofi Annan International Peacekeeping and Training Centre. Doc, many thanks for speaking to us uh, this afternoon. And so we're hearing from uh, ECOWAS and Ambassador Abdul Fatah Musa say that by all means, by hook or crook, they will restore constitutional rule in cool troubled Niger. That, for some, could be an indication that military intervention could be very well here. Yes, good day to you. Um, very true. The ambassador stated earlier Monday that ECOWAS was to forestall peace and security in line with um, ensuring democratic practices. However, for them, ECOWAS was now the last option to give military intervention is not taken off the table, but they need to explore preventive diplomacy. Now, it has shown that the religious leaders who are going to meet this junta that's religious leaders from the northern part of Nigeria, having been able to meet the junta and making progress. That's what we call the track three diplomacy. Why not ECOWAS explore this medium? Okay? Tap the knowledge from these leadership for them to engage these 21 ministers that the junta has appointed. Because whether we like it or not, the junta has shown sign. Yes, they would transform or translate into a democratic dispensation going forward. With these 21 ministers, it, it appears the Junta is a step ahead of ECOWAS. ECOWAS didn't see this coming. So for ECOWAS, the message is clear now. Work with the 21 ministers that we have, and then you will hear from us. But the military intervention, which ECOWAS is bent on, per their mandate, yes, it may come on. We are looking at the meeting, the security chiefs here in Accra this afternoon to see what exactly will come out of the meeting. But they should try and explore every effort, preventive effort, and engage these 21 ministers, and then we can go ahead. Mm. Engaging the, the 21 ministers and going ahead, obviously the conversation has been on and almost sounding repetitive as to the use of, of dialogue going forward. Um, in terms of expectations beyond this, we know that there's been subsequent mission teams sent by ECOWAS. We've not really had much in terms of what has transpired there. What will be the expectation just quickly? Well, first of all, going back a little bit, who are those ECOWAS sent as emissaries? Okay. Now, it may be their capacity in the area of conflict resolution, i.e. prevention and negotiation mediation was not apt, hence could not even make progress, right? And we all know the stance the Junta took initially, but later on, having realized that to take that stance as the Junta will not materialize into what they want, they're holding on to power for some time. That's why they went ahead and appointed the 21 ministers. Now, this is a new opportunity for ECOWAS, but it seems ECOWAS has taken the stance that we gave you the room, negotiation, mediation, you did not open up, so we are still bent on going ahead, right? Activated the ECOWAS and by force, deployed to Niger, but we all know the consequences. But for me, I think ECOWAS should give diplomacy a chance again, open up a new chapter, and that would yield positive results. Doc, I appreciate that you could speak to us. Thank you. That's Dr. Victor Doke, a security analyst and a lecturer speaking to us on the development. Just a